Well, guys, we all know the band Kiss, of course, with their elaborate leather, studded rock gear and face paint, but you also might associate them with this hand gesture right here. Well, Gene Simmons is now claiming ownership of that signal, saying that he was the very first person to use it commercially back in 1974. He submitted this sketch to the Patent and Trademark <laughs> Office along with the note, no other person, firm, corporation, or association has the right to use said mark in commerce, either in the identical form or in such near resemblance. Now, social media, of course, weighing in on this, Terry writing, too many hand signs that are similar. Specifically, people are pointing out that this gesture looks a lot like the I love you in sign language. That's what Lilt's saying. It's called American Sign Language, and it is not yours. Now, we asked people on Twitter, should people be able to trademark a simple hand gesture? 95% of you say no. It's a non-starter, I guess, right? Yeah. The decision online seems clear, but Simmons is going to have to wait to see if uh, this all works out in his favor. His application will get assigned an examiner in the next few months. Months. Here's me with the guys at The Voice. I'm going for the old school. This is more the Black Sabbath kind of oh, devil horns. Yeah. Yeah. Like Gene that. there doing his, what he's asking to get patented there. Then there's the Hang Loose, which is here. There's Hook'em Horns somewhere in here. There's another there's one, a, too. You're, yeah. Yeah. There's a You're Number One <laughs> somewhere yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Carson, I love that picture of you and the Kiss guys. Yeah. You really blend. You uh, blend right in. Yeah, that's <laughs> one of these things not like the that. others. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.